Cancer, this could resonate for your Sun, Moon, <clears throat> Rising or Venus sign. It's also timeless, so it may resonate whenever you're seeing this. If you like this content, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. At least hit the like button, gang. We really appreciate it. Drop the Cancer emoji. We really appreciate that interaction on the channel. So, you guys, I'm getting that you understood the assignment. <laughs> you understood the assignment. That's what I could see. <laughs> Um, I do feel like I'm talking to some cancers that are very, very, very divinely protected. Um, you're somebody who's been getting, you could be a channel, you could be a psychic or just a highly intuitive, it, it feels like you're a star seed, right? These cards are giving me that, we've got the light priestess, galactic wisdom, cosmic ritual. So some of you have been doing some kind of rituals, it's stirring up your cellular, <clears throat> cellular DNA, okay? This is all in the past energy. So you've been through some kind of awakening. For crying out loud, this could have happened in the last week for some of you, right? You received some kind of messages, channels, or information, or you could be the one delivering the messages. You could be the channel, okay? And the tree of illumination. So you've been illuminated, baby. You've been illuminated. Consider yourself very lucky because I see that right now, you know, you really understood the assignment. So some of you are being called to kind of go into some kind of cocoon phase you could be i'm actually getting some of you could be um lucid dreaming right like things are happening in your dreams where it's like oh that wouldn't normally happen but maybe your guides are trying to wake you up to the fact that you can control your dream right they're trying to prep you for astral traveling for some of you but yeah we got the temple of dreams sacred dreams prophecies and dream journeys so yeah like i'm saying you guys could be getting you know prepped for the astral to go somewhere um maybe an invitation all right but with 32 resurrection is telling me that you guys you're about to make some kind of comeback you've been you're going through a rebirth right now okay maybe new things are coming into your life on top of all that and then in the future position we've got 144 get fucked this could be for one of the 144 you guys could be definitely starseed um chosen ones okay the crystal path is in the future with returning home so this is telling me you got crystal beings working with you the devas um you know these could be even activated star seeds that are in your life or working with you some of you could be collaborating with you know activated star seeds which are crystal beings right um but yeah crystals could be calling to you or maybe some of you have been drawn to a specific crystal lately um and that's for a reason, or you may be in the next week, okay? Um, because there's a transition happening in your life, right? I feel like timelines are collapsing in on themselves, right? Life between lifetimes. My goodness. Returning home. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's actually so beautiful. Um, so yeah, it's just, it just feels like a lot of love. You know, some of you could be about to make some long-term investments here with the Knight of Pentacles as well. Is what's coming up, but the words we got coming out, they just flew out of my thing. We got comfort, excitement, charm, inventiveness, rest, participation, faith, and attentiveness. So I feel like you guys are embodying all these energies right now. Some of you may be manifesting multiple things at once. Um, I'd say there's a lot for you to be excited about right now. Um, you guys could be feeling very comfortable wherever, like, the universe has you right now. Um, I'd say rest is very important for you guys over the next week. And faith, right? Attention to detail or attention to your faith, however that applies. So maybe you're going to be called to do some kind of investment, right? With the Knight of Pentacles, you got to have faith that you're being guided in the right direction. Some of you, <laughs> or some of you getting people all excited with your charm as well. <laughs> Right with the sun, okay? Maybe some of you are just bringing a lot of light to the world, um, is what I feel. A lot of illumination, okay? Because you are illuminated. That's what I'm seeing for you, gang. And it's really beautiful. So, when with the seven of cups on top of the temple of dreams, it's just giving me, oh, guys, there's something going on. You may find yourself daydreaming a lot um, lately. Ace of cups. You've been through a massive spiritual awakening, whoever this is for. Massive. Right? So, yeah, you may be called right now to invent something. From You're going to be called to draw something down from the higher realms or act on something, which is going to 
be end up being a long-term investment but the thing is this path that you're about to walk or that you guys are walking right now is something you're destined for you guys are about to be called home okay you're gonna have some i feel like some of you are gonna have a meeting in the astral wheel of fortune i can't make it up like something huge is coming you're about to return home maybe to your heart um somewhere in the stars right just for a visit if you go into the stars like don't get me wrong but yeah, your angels, your guides, your ancestors, they're calling to you right now um, from the heavens, right? From higher realms, I can i can see it so clearly. That's why they're kind of calling you to come back. Some of you are being called to rest, come back to your center, right? And really pay attention to your dreams because your dreams are like prophecies right now. Um, especially if you've had a dream in the last week or the week that's coming, these dreams are very significant, okay? They're coming straight from your ancestors. And they're also prepping you guys for some stuff in the astral. Right? Some of you may have a tendency to overthink your dreams. What's this about? So they're just saying, if you ever get confused about your dream, just take some time out. Like, actually suspend yourself. Go and uh, meditate. And just do it, like put yourself first for a second, right? And watch the birds, they're saying. Pay attention to the birds, specifically the crows. Um, yeah, that, that's a really strong message they want to bring out. I just pulled strength on top of that, right? Instead of keeping it all to yourself and like trying to figure it all out in your head, meditate on it, talk to your guides. Um, well, if, if you're still trying to connect with your guides, try to connect with your guides, you know, and I'm saying, gang, because, um, you know, they'll help you dissect, dissect and decipher your dreams. So, yeah, what else is coming in for cancer? Right, some of you could be getting some kind of recognition from a younger woman, somebody younger than you. Could be giving you a reward for something. So someone younger than you could be coming in to give you some kind of gift, is what I feel. Something might have happened in April or February with this person. I'm also getting some of you out there in the Cancer Collective. You are you are going through some kind of separation, okay? If that is you, you definitely, they're saying to control your anger, all right? Or you'll be sorry. Um... And know that you have financial gain coming towards you. So let's see more about this Knight of Pentacles. And where it's taking you. Three of Cups. I'm telling you, gang. Some of you are about to invest either into yourself, into your business. Um, you could be changing the direction of where you're investing your time. Like who you're investing into. Some of you are about to get a job, right? You're about to be, you could you could have a crystal business. Some of you could have a crystal shop, a crystal business. I'm seeing further investments or investments into a crystal shop. Um, but I would definitely feel something about big timeline shifting here. And the three of cups coming now, it's like you're going to be celebrating. So it's, it's an investment worthwhile, but it requires faith, okay? So even if it's not like a, a physical crystal shop or something, like... I just feel like that's what's going on. And some of you are, are going to have a baby. Is what I can see. But like something could be going on with the with the, the partner. And that could be for some of you someone who's making you angry. Alright. So just control your anger. Okay. Relax. Meditate. Um, there's a massive transformation coming in for you guys. With death and the fool on the bottom. I'm telling you. You guys are about to go through a major transformation. So whatever you're being prepped for spiritually is so that you're going to be able to handle coming home to, to where are they going home to? Like there's a home in there. Well, there's a planet here. I'm telling you, like, I feel like some of you beat me up. This, that, this, this is that extraterrestrial, multidimensional, interdimensional conscious. <laughs> We're running for Congress. There is no competition. We are. Oh, shit. I forgot the lyrics. But anyway, I think someone's getting beamed up, Scotty. Or someone's going to visit. 
or you may dream about like something to do with yourself skipping timelines or see yourself in a different timeline but that's really what i'm getting and you're going to be welcomed with a warm welcome this could be by the ascended masters by your star family six of cups absolutely you genuinely are some of you oh my gosh that's so cool so yeah just just um be spontaneous stay committed to what you feel you should be committed to because yes there's some big transformations coming in but you're kind of being called to be spontaneous um maybe something significant happened in may we got april whoa luck wealth the four leaf clover just come out and i just pulled abundance and it just like fell like racks right like there's just i feel like some of you have a lot of money coming toward you okay and that's all part of this rebirth and this is why you guys are getting like prepped in the astral first or something like that like, that's what i'm getting all right because something has to be resolved that's what i feel so gang that was a pretty lit message let me know if it resonated i love you bye